right, I'm back out. Uh, so far, no good. But uh, we were putting out, uh, you know, meat bait for scent and stuff. But it seems like the coyote poop is full of berries and bushes. They're, so they're eating. There's no deer in here. They're, they're not migrated down lower in the country. Uh, so they probably don't have much food. Haven't seen a rabbit. So I don't know if they're eating rabbits or not. But uh, yeah, I been going by this one little ridge this one little spot right here and every time I go through I pick up the poop the coyote poop and it's been three days I've come back and there's still a, there's a whole new pile of poop it looks like possibly a breeding pair but anyways let me let me show you this right here you can see that you know and I'm picking that up every day every three days and they keep, there's an older one right there, but you know, uh, yes, I have been watching some YouTube stuff. And uh, they say, uh, just like wolf, you gotta, or a dog, any kind of dog, you gotta pick up the poop, because that's gonna be one of your natural smells to the coyotes or the wolves. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a set. I want to do a dirt hole set out in the wide open, but people do go through here. Uh, it's muddy, it's nasty. To, I had to park way, way, way down to, with the truck and then just slip sliding away in my four-wheeler. But <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. And uh, I don't want to have a, a coyote in a trap right off the, this road this old road in here and have somebody well kill it for me and probably steal it I just I don't know if so far there hasn't been anybody in here but that will be the bad luck of my life is some asshole will come in here and, and steal my dog out of my trap because it's in the wide open you know and I, I can get to a bush, sagebrush, 60 yards away. I'm going to try to get my northwest wind to where evening down and daytime up. It's blowing up right now towards where that bush is. But I think that'll be, you know, I'll have to, I'll have to try it. I just don't want to have a dog in the wide open without it being on... Uh, private property with the landowner known knowing what's going on so let's go we're gonna go put I'm gonna go but with high country carnage I'm gonna go do this set it's mud I've never set in mud but we're gonna do it today stay with us well after I turn the camera off <laughs> I took five steps and I, I actually think this is like a what do they call this a cat box a dog box a community center but my god there's one two three and that one four five there's five piles of poop right here but I'm gonna show you what they're eating anyways and that's what I think is why they're not they're not on the meat you can see it right there it's like berries and bushes and seeds it's like seeds in there so it doesn't seem like their diet is consisting any kind of wild game or food you know solid meat but I got some new scents that are supposed to be a really good uh, attractant and hopefully <laughs> look at that that is wild the, these were not here three days ago well dog poopy let's go okay what I did is I found a bush right here that's got a base sagebrush base about this big around and I'm using the carabiner system, the trailer carabiner system. What I do is I open it up and then I end up putting, I need to see if it's gonna be long enough. If not, I gotta go on to the closest one. And I put the existing cable through there and then I lock it down. And then that'll create like a half hitch around and to keep that 
Let's see if I can get this circled around. There we go. And that's going to be a pretty good little spot right here. I'll do a dirt hole set right here and get a bunch of dirt and stuff out. And the trap will be right here. And the, the stink pipe I'll put, I'll pound it down right back in there too. And then put the scent in. All right, stay with me. Okay, everybody, I just got this set done. And uh, if you can see it right here, I did my, my pipe way back in there. I got a half hitch carabiner loop holding it on to a sagebrush about this big. I took my handy dandy and call it a rock hammer but it digs well. I just don't have the bit or the the drill to be able to do a hole. So I did the just the dig out hole and splattered it around make it look like something's been digging in here and and I did put two of the coyote poops <laughs> turds right from 60 yards away so and then I've got my hex coyote attractant gel in the pot stink pipe so and then like they say throw in some fake fur or something just to make it look like there's uh, actually something animal fur in there and around here right now the the rabbits are turning white it's the a why he um, jackrabbit it's one of the only ones that turn white it's a, a rare uh, rare rabbit in certain spots in the Waihee uh, County of Idaho and uh, they're hard to see and this is gonna be pinpointing exactly what their food source should be so and I got an ant, ant hill over there a little walkway here but I put some rocks and some dirt clods and whatever but uh, this will be my first try with a hex uh, coyote attractant. I've been using just meat, but they don't want it here. So, but we still, this is only the first trap out of 11 or 10. So, we're going to keep moving around and we might have to move some uh, more traps. I would almost like to have a double set here. Another, and I probably will put one over here about 20 yards and then have a chance of catching two. Make up for lost time, eh, baby? All right, High Country Carnage, the trapping edition. Well, on my third, sorry, excuse my language. I'm on the third set of the day of resetting, and I just saw a coyote hopping around in the sage up here. I got a freaking coyote. Oh, it's like, I didn't think it was gonna happen. Sorry about the light, but that's the only lighting I got. Oh, that's a big one too. Got him, his foot looks trapped in the pan his feet are flat oh shit he's stuck it's a big looks like a big male holy crap almost looks like a freaking wolf but it's not i gotta be careful here i gotta dispatch him i don't know how long he's been here let me get it on him with me I got a coyote. Oh, he's over there. There he is. Well, I'm not going to let him suffer much more. That's proof that I got a coyote. Here we go. I'm going to turn this off. Ho, ho, I got my first coyote, everybody. Not bad for a noobs. Noobs on the trap line. Boy, is this the third set check? Two sets, and it's just like, you can hear I'm, I'm racing like I just shot a 340 bull elk. <laughs> this is a giant, I, it's got to be a male, it's huge. Got the colors of a wolf, he's beautiful, holy Hannah. Oh. Well, my theory on the sagebrush is kind of... Yes, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going around 12 to 14 inches of a root, the root system of these uh, 
They're like juniper sage. They're not sagebrush. Some of them are, but you know, they're so flexible, they'll just shake and it actually keeps them from pulling their damn feet out. He, boy, he, <laughs> he's beauty. All right, I'm gonna set him up and get some photos. My first coyote, people, check that shit out. <laughs> Oh, I am so jacked. I'm gonna put this down. Thanks for following along. I'm gonna do more. I've that's only the third one, two, third trap. I still have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have seven more to check. Boy, if I like I said at the beginning, there's enough coyotes in here. I should be getting out of 12 a dozen traps. I should be getting minimum two to four dogs every three days and i'm hoping that's what's going to happen <laughs> that's it i got me my first coyote trapping i told everybody this is going to be a, a, a very addictive sport and they just posted where i got my uh scent they just posted because they had zero dollars for coyotes three days ago and while I was there 25 bucks it don't sound like much you kill four or five in a set you know hundred two hundred dollars you know and they're probably gonna go up so now I want to catch a bobcat all right I'll talk to you guys later high country carnage like subscribe follow this is our new adventure High Country Carnage, trapping baby. <laughs>